come as close as you When you hear the wind blows But through this unstoppable storm of love remains It drives me insane Hello everybody, how are you doing? Today I'm so excited to announce to you we're going to have a spring makeup. You know I've been doing some characters face painting and transformation for a long time and it's kind of exciting that after a while we're going to do a makeup. So let's get it started. Keep watching till the end of the video. Just like always, we're going to start with the moisturizer or you can use the primer. Now for the foundation, I use Dermacol 211 for all over my face except around the eyes because we just used concealer for around the eyes. Now it's time for highlighting and contouring, but because it's a spring makeup, I don't want to use a lot of contour, but we're going to use a lot of concealer. Now if you use contour for these parts of your face, it makes you look uh, thinner and like you have a skin face. You know, for blending this part, you shouldn't uh, blend it to your hair, to your head, to the outside of your forehead. It's like a song. And also here. But this part should fade them to your eyes. And for you know, this part, fade them to your neck. Uh, you know, in the past, even, you know, last year, we used to uh, highlight the whole part under our eyes. But the trend of this year is just to use highlight, I'm sorry. Concealer for this part. A little here and here. That's all. I want my nose to be thin and long, so I don't use a lot of concealer for here. Just this part. All right, now I want to bake my face, especially under my eyes.
to less bake in my face I'll go and work on the eyeshadows in this case if we mess up a little bit on the eyeshadows we can even remove this remove the eyeshadows uh, with the bake powder so I want to keep it now for the eyeshadows I want to use some green color for this part the inside part of my eyes and orange for the outside it's kind of have a now you know spring and summer concept so I like it and then probably we're going to have a thick eyeliner okay but first I want to work on my eyebrows probably I just use brush and maybe I lift it a little bit this is the first time I'm using this brow soap and I don't know what it's gonna look on me but I like to try it The difference is obvious and I kind of like it so I'm going to do it for the other one. I want to teach you a trick. For having a better pigment for your eyeshadow, it's better to use a concealer and don't let it dry. You know, you should just use it wet and then you put the eyeshadow on it and you're going to have a a lot of pigments and if you don't want it you can just let it dry so I use my finger also don't use a brush for if you want to have a good pigment use your finger Okay, I like it now and I want to use orange for all over here because I want my eyes to be lifted so I use it for the outside of my eye. I want to use a shiny orange, but it's not very shiny. Just for here. And I fade it as much as I can. Now I want to use some brown glitter for this part, the outside part of my eyes. We're not done with the eyes, but now we can just uh, remove the powder. Now we have to fake this eyeliner. See when you use this eyeliner and fade them to the outside of your eye, it's gonna like fade, uh, lift it. Now we use the mascara and break them. Also use a white eyeshadow for under your eyebrows. 
You can also use uh, some, you know, white uh, highlighter for this part. I don't want it to be shiny, so I use a matte eyeshadow. Now I'm going to use this pink blush for this part. I don't want to come to this part too. And fade it to the eye to lift your face. For the lipstick, first I use pencil, probably a door 207, and then I'm gonna use a probably orange lip gloss. Have you seen Korean makeups? You know, usually for the lipstick, they fade the lipstick when they go to the outside of the lips. Like, for example, you can do it even with brush or finger. After using the lipstick, just fade it. Like this. Not gonna use a lot of highlighter, just a little to fresh my makeup. So this is the result of our spring makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and tutorial. And you know, I wasn't sure about doing this makeup at first because I wasn't sure about the combination of this green and orange, but now I really like it and I hope you like it as well. You can wear this makeup with a beautiful dress with orange flowers and enjoy this spring weather. So please don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, like this video and tell me your opinion on this makeup in the comments. And have a nice day. No, nothing can come as close as you when you hear the wind blows, but